Hey guys, Brickwin here with one of the new LEGO Jurassic World sets to review for you guys. This one is set number 75937, Triceratops Rampage. It has 447 pieces and it cost about $60. So I think we can all agree this set is overpriced. However, I still really like this set. I just wish it cost a little less. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff in here to check out. We also have a couple of minifigures standing up here uh, that I'm going to get to first. This one, um, I don't exactly remember in the movie. I don't know if she was just kind of on the sidelines and they didn't really talk about her. Maybe she didn't have a big part. But her name is Allison Miles, I believe. Or Mills. I think it's Miles. I, I can't remember for sure. Um, but it's a nice looking minifigure regardless. Um, that they've added in here. And then this one is Simon Mazrani, and he definitely is a named character in the movie. Um, this is the guy who was running the park, if you guys don't remember. Um, so definitely an important minifigure we have here. It does have a double-sided face, which is awesome. Now I'm going to take these two and just kind of set them well, back here with the Triceratops for a minute so we can look at some other stuff. So we have a, a small gate, which is not supposed to be like the main gate. This is just supposed to be the gate to this ride. So um, I think that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like that it's got like a miniature gate for that. Um, really nothing on the back of it, but nice little touch to have that. And I'm just going to kind of set that out of the way. We also have this that kind of just, you know, it's it's kind of like the gate that kind of separates uh, you from the ride uh, before you get on it. You know, it's got the, the line for people to wait in line to get to it. It's also got the steps to help them get up on the ride. And there's even little stickers, you know, gyrosphere that way, gift shop that way, museum this way. And here's your... Here's your info, basically. So nice little touch, and you can kind of, you can really move this around. Um, so it can be like they're going around a corner, or it can be straight across, kind of however you want to do it, or you can totally fold it up. So it's nice and compact, and it can just kind of sit to the side for a minute. <laughs> so we do have this really awesome ride that's included, which I love. And if you guys saw um, one of the new Harry Potter sets, uh, the Clock Tower, it had this part attached to the side um, to kind of emulate them dancing. And when I did my review, I talked about how I wanted it to have s some kind of like crank where it could turn, you know, because in that one, you just kind of do it like this. But this one, check this out you can actually turn this part over here, kind of goes through here and turns this, and I love it. If they're gonna use these cool blue pieces to turn like this, I definitely want it to have one of these uh, turn, uh, you know, a little crankshaft like this. I think it's awesome. I really like the design of this ride, as you can tell. Um, now, I will say one little complaint. Um, there are a ton of stickers in this set. I mean a ton. So, as you can see on the little egg shapes around this, every side looks like it has some printing on there. Yeah, that's a sticker on every side. So, that's four on this one, four on that one, four on that one. Then you have the stickers that go around here. You have this sticker. And that's just on this one thing. There are other stickers in the set also. So it's just a whole lot of stickers. Um, and I, I wouldn't have minded all the stickers if they had just printed like this. Just print these. And that would have been a whole lot better. But they didn't. So Anyway, also up at the top, this just kind of lifts off. If you want to take a look at the eggs up here. Now, the, really the eggs in this, really, I... I'm pretty sure are supposed to just be considered for decoration since this is part of the ride. You know, it's, it's kind of a ride if you remember John Hammond reference there. Anyway, <laughs> from the first movie. So we also have, oh, and I, I almost
almost skipped. We do have a minifigure sitting in this. This is one of those not named figures. She is tourist. That is all she is. <laughs> so you can call her whatever you want. Um, actually, she kind of has hair similar to mine, so I'm gonna call her Christine. I know that's not um, official or anything, but um, th this is gonna be me visiting the park because this is totally where I would be. I would be right close to the Triceratops um, hanging out there. Uh, anyway, this minifigure has an awesome torso that can definitely be used for other things. I really like it. I think I may have seen this torso in like one of those city packs. Not sure there, but I think I did. Or maybe it was like this in a different color. Can't remember. Um, she's also got some ice cream there. Um, and she does have a double-sided face, so she can be really excited on the ride or kind of scared that the Triceratops is getting out. So that's a nice nice little minifigure to be included. Uh, we also have Owen Grady over here. This is for after the Triceratops gets free, um, and he's going to use a carrot to try to lure it back in, basically, because a Triceratops is an herbivore. So... I mean, like, that's a nice little touch. Another little sticker there. Just throwing that out there. Um, so this is the fence surrounding the Triceratops paddock. So we have this small section over here, which doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, but you've got this nice little sign here um, talking about the Triceratops. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and you can move this around if you want to. So this part of the fence though, now this is the cool part. It does have this little sign, show that it's electrified, and you can kind of, you can turn this part to show whether it's on or off, which I do like a lot. But how does the Triceratops get free? By breaking down the fence. I love that they included that little feature. I know it's something really simple, but I love it. <laughs> it's it's like one of my favorite parts of this set is the fact that the Triceratops actually can break out. And last but not least, in this awesome little set, we do have the Triceratops itself. So Lego has made the Triceratops before, but it's been several years since we got one. And this one is colored totally different. So I am excited to have another one of these. I really like the coloration on it. I think they did a great job. Nice yellow eyes there. Um, of course, you can't move the tail, but you can, you know, kind of move the head a little bit, just up and down, basically. Um, and you can move the legs. But I think this is awesome. I love the Triceratops. I just hope that they continue to make other different dinosaurs. So anyway, um, that is everything in the set. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and let me know in the comments if you did or didn't. And if you have any requests for the next video, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys later.